Hello everyone, welcome to Catherine's Creatures. This is a series where I get to talk a little bit about and touch base upon various mythological creatures, beast beings, and the like pulled from lore worldwide. And I always like to preface by saying I am not a linguist, so if I mispronounce anything along the way, I apologize in advance. And today's episode is 131. And I wanted to talk about the Nixie, and I'm using this particular name because there are a whole slew, a plethora of very, very similar, similar entities that overlap so much that essentially they're kind of grouped together. And I'm using the term Nixie to kind of talk about a bunch of them at the same time, even though a lot of them are regional or cultural, uh, just variations of the concept, but some of the variations do deviate enough that potentially could be qualified as their own thing. But that's why I'm just gonna be qualifying the whole group today as Nixie. Now, some of these other names, again, can be Nix, Nakin, uh, Nikor, Nok, Nakin, and again, they vary a lot. Uh, the Nixie, that specific term is a little more on the Germanic side, though there is a lot of variations that kind of push into the Scandinavian side of folklore as well. But the Nixie, again, folklore, be it folklore or mythology, has uh, a lot of information about all the different uh, versions of itself. And depending on the region, the sex, the, trans the ability to transform and shape shift varies. Uh, their by names, again, as I've mentioned, vary a lot. So there are a huge, there is a huge deviation. Uh, now, what is the Nixie? Let well, let me just pick one of these groups, for instance. Let's go over to the Germanic side and let's talk about the Nix. Now, the Nix is essentially a female river maiden, and uh, that is you know that lives by the water and usually appears beautiful and that kind of uh, kind of almost a nymph-like concept versus something like, let's go to the Norwegian side of thing and you have the Nack or the Nock, and they're actually a male um, entity, a water spirit. And the the Nack or the Nock are often said to again appear as these attractive men that play these enchanted songs on violins, near usually near some kind of water source, or river source. And the point for the Nack or the Nock uh, or the neck, um, is the f is that they are trying to lure women to them for sometimes malevolent purposes, but not always. Again, variations, as I've said before in these videos, variation, variation, variation. There's a lot of differences. So though some people think they're malevolent, other times they are just, just there to have fun. The knocker, um, that one is known to be just nice and plays the music for the enjoyment of women, men, children, but they don't really try to do anything malicious and not trying to drown a person or anything. They're just there to enjoy the music <laughs> and uh, allow other people to listen to uh, their performances, essentially. Uh, going over to another variation, there is the Nix, N-I-X, and the Nix is often said to, because the descriptions of these people, these kind of um, entities can vary, uh, though sometimes they're described a little bit more modern times now as uh, naked. Originally, more often than not, they were described as wearing beautiful, elegant clothing, alluring to the eye. Over, if you go over to the Faroe Islands, there is the Niker, which its variation is definitely different. It's a little bit more like a water horse. So if you've heard of Kelpie or any of these other water horses that I've talked about in the past, well, the Niker is, is kind of almost falls into that category of um, creature. And so though the name, the root of the name goes back to this Nixie group, it is a little bit more like Kelpies and uh, other water horses that purpose is to lure a person, to ride on its back, to drown them very unpleasant. Jumping back over to more the Germanic side, um, Nix, Nixies are often thought of as kind of mermaid or mermen-like creatures. The women are supposed to be, you know, the beautiful woman from the top with a fish tail. Men are described as being able to shapeshift in either a human form, a fish, or a snake, and so uh, can disguise what they are. Now, when it comes to Nixies and these water spirits, 
you can often identify them because their clothes usually are hemmed um, with water so they're damp around the edges and that's one way you can identify that a person is not a person but a nixie but like i said there are so many different variations that range wild wild widely can't speak today and uh, if you are interested in a nixie nix knocker knockin just check it out. There are so many cool little, again, variations that if maybe you're inspired to write a story, maybe they will be the main character of one of your future fantasy novels. Anywho, if you have any questions about this or anything else, please post them in the comments below or reach out to me on any of my other social media. And until next time, everyone, skull.